Yo, 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 it's Jimmy G23 here, and welcome to another FIFA 19 player ratings reaction. Um, today we're going to be going over 20 through 11. Um, I haven't seen any of these. These are my first initial reactions of everything. Um, so if you guys go like the video, go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Uh, leave comments on uh, down below what you guys are most surprised about. Um, I've been really, really enjoying the support from a lot of you guys. I'm watching some of these videos. If it's not the player rating se series, it's definitely the... Um, the starter squad series so go ahead check those out um, but other than that let, let's go ahead and dive in with number 20 right here um, Sergio Aguero 84 pace 89 shooting um, it looks like actually his pace um, went down a little bit to an 80 84 89 shooting 89 dribbling 76 passing 73 um, not bad not bad at all I would say from Sergio Aguero he does have four star skill moves four star weak foot high medium work rate which is great that's what you want um, you know wish we would have saw more of him in the World Cup uh, just want to make that comment and um, but 84 pace um, definitely looks like they decreased that I wonder you know th there's been a theme with some players that their pace has been decreasing a lot of them have been increasing so I wonder if they're making the true like the actual you know in IRL players who are really really fast you know have the true pace in the game as where the other players who aren't as fast you know actually bringing them back so I wonder if they are scaling back some of the pace and they're not trying to create so so many different meta players which which would be interesting on how fast the actual game is um, 28 defense sounds the same so they didn't increase he did his defense 73 and physicality and 76 passing also sounds the same so um interesting uh, that's all i say but four star four star is what you would expect from a top scorer in the premier league i'm um, sergio Aguero. next up is chiellini he's an old school defender with a modern mindset uh check it ea check it one two um, Chiellini, 69 pace, interesting, um, so I, def I think he might have gotten a boost pace or maybe a small decrease, uh, 56 passing, 60 dribbling, 91 defense, okay, I think that definitely got an increase, and 82 physicality, that's nice, I mean, two-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, that's fine, you don't really need a whole lot there, he has 69 pace, so he's probably going to be a little bit slower, I'm always looking for center backs with at least 70 pace, um, and relatively high dribbling as well. So 69 pace and 60 dribblings, not not, not very great. Um, but that high defensive work rate is phenomenal, especially if you have high. If you if you naturally you're just a very aggressive player, this is the type of player you would want. Um, overall, though, in you know as as watching him play, he's he's a phenomenal footballer. He's 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 awesome to watch. He goes out there and gets those tackles and um, makes some game winning tackles too. Um, if if you notice some of that as well. Chiellini is going to be a monster this game, um, and I'm, I'm excited to use him. Next up, we have Antonio Griezmann. Definitely got a rating boost, I think, from an 88 to an 89. Uh, first thing I noticed right away is his work rate. High, high. That's awesome. That's really great. To um, he's going to run up and down the um, up, run up and down the pitch. Three star weak foot is a little interesting, I would say. Um, four star skill moves is nice. Um, it's what you expect from him. 86 pace, 86 shooting, 81 passing, 88 dribbling. You know, honestly, with 50 defense and 70 physicality, this looks more like a, a, a cam, right? There's some other strikers or ringers that are a lot faster that you could throw up there. Um, this definitely looks like a cam, though, with the 86 pace and the 81 passing. Um, if I was using a French squad, that's what I would do. Probably position change him to a center forward or, or a cam. Um, you, you could definitely have him as a striker, though. Um, that's more than fine with especially with all the pace decreases I it'd be very interesting to see um, but phenomenal player he, he he did amazing things in the World Cup um, and just excited to see him play I'm excited that he stayed at Atletico Madrid and didn't transfer over to Barcelona or Real Madrid um, hopefully he's able to bring something to Atletico Madrid um, but his 86 shooting is actually pretty impressive as EA commented on the side Next up, guys, we have Harry Kane. You know, 70 pace, 90 shooting, 79 passing. All right, all right. 81 dribbling, 83 uh, physicality. You know, Harry Kane is known for his shooting, and, and that's about it. Um, Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, high, high work rate. He is 6'2". Um, so definitely, um, you know, the cheese post 
is is um, if if that's still an E8, you're definitely going to get some of that. Um, you know, he has that 83 physicality, so he's definitely going to be playing his. I would I, the way I would play Harry Kane is having his back up against the goal and trying to do the quick quick turnarounds. Um, depending on how high his dribbling is, right now it's 81, but it'd be interesting to look at the in-game stats. And the fact that he's number 17 is um, is pretty high, I, I would say. Uh, a little bit of favoritism from England there, but that's fine. I definitely think Sergio Aguero should be um, in rankings better than Harry Kane, but that's my personal opinion. And Antonio Griezmann. Hey, hey, I, I, I didn't make the ratings, so it's fine. Um, but overall, not bad card. I mean, last year he was really an SBC card other than his team of the year. Um, I definitely think it'll be like that again this year, so... Just another SBC card that um, that you'll need for icons. Uh, Angolo Kante, five six. Okay, has he always been five six? I thought it was five nine. He could have always been five six. That just could have been me. A, they might have actually boosted his defense and his physicality. They, it looks like they boosted his passing and his dribbling. Pace is a little bit smaller or a little bit lower, not smaller. Um, you know, th this is my boy right here, N'Golo Kante. Huge Chelsea fan. I'm, I'm glad he's getting this 89-rated uh, uh, card. He deserves it with that medium-high work rate. Um, skill moves, he doesn't need it. He doesn't need any skill moves. He just needs to get to the ball, make the tackle, and um, pass it back up front. Um, high defensive work rate. I um, definitely think his shooting, at least his volleys, need to be a little bit higher because um, he uh, started off the season with a, with a beautiful volley. Um, high defensive work rate, that's what you want. You know, you have him, and then you have someone taller. But, you know, typically it would have been Bakayoko. Um, now that I'm thinking, you probably could have Fernandinho, who's 6'2", um, have him as the other center defensive mid. Um, but overall, 80 pace, like I said, 87 defense. I'm very, very interested to see what the in-game stats is. Um, and the fact that he has 84 physicality is just goes to show you that he has just as much physicality as, um, as Harry Kane. Um, if not a little bit more, so I'm I'm excited. Hopefully, his aggression is naturally very high because that's how he plays. Um, and yeah, I'm just excited to use him. I'm, this is definitely going to be a center defensive mid. That's one. It's going to be very very expensive, and two is going to be exciting to play um, and and use. I know his team of the year was phenomenal. Um, a lot of people use him. Some people even threw him as a center attacking mid for his team of the year. Um, but yeah, let's go up to number sixteen. I mean, 15 now, we got Oblak. Oh, he got a rating boost to a 90. Um, you know, the problem with Oblak is um, it's not that he's in La Liga. It's just that he's 6'2". And uh, you've been hearing this, if you've been watching all the videos, you've been hearing this, that with goalkeepers, I'm just not a fan of them being 6'2", 6'1", 6'3". I guess what's nice about Oblak, though, he has 92 handling, so there's not going to be a whole lot of poaching um, from uh, from this goalkeeper. 86 diving, 89 uh, reflexes, 88, uh, I guess, position is, is phenomenal. Um, the fact that he's 6'2", is just, it's, it's what turns me on. And for me personally, I would use him as an SBC card. Um, yeah. Next up, Courtois got a rating boost from an 89 to a 90. Great for him. Um, see, he's 6'6". He does have that positioning, that reflex, that diving, also that handling. So not a whole lot of poaching coming off of him. He's definitely a more, but he's going to be definitely a lot more of an expensive goalkeeper. Hopefully, he's going to have save the feet trait as every top goalkeeper I think over 88 should have it. Um, 87 diving, phenomenal. 6'6. Six, six, um, definitely not an SBC card. You're going to see him, especially from Real Madrid um, players who um, who are fans of Real Madrid, will definitely be using him. Um, but there's not much to say about goalkeepers other than their height and um, a couple of stats that point out. Now we have Diego Godin, who's a boss center back, um, 68 pace, 89 defense, 84 physicality, is rated 90. Interesting that Chiellini had 91, 92 defense, and 82 um, with slightly higher uh, pace, but a lower rating. Uh, Godin is 6'2", medium high work rate, which is phenomenal. You want that high defensive work rate from some of these top rated guys um, so that they're aggressive, they intercept the ball, you don't get those long passes, they're quick to it. Um, Three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, doesn't matter. He is 6'2", he's tall, he's going to get the job done. Um, I don't think, uh, well, maybe because of his pace, he'd probably be an SBC card. Um, I would think so. Uh, but we'll go ahead and, and see what happens. Um, 
like I said, a phenomenal player. Um, overall, watching him play, he's a captain. He's uh, he, he's going to be exciting to watch. Next up, we got Manuel Neuer. Hey, not a surprise of uh, of a rating decrease from 92 to a 90. He was hurt a lot of last season. World Cup, he really didn't perform. Overall, Bayern Munich players did get a rating decrease. Um, <coughs> but still, you know, just looking at him, he is 6'4", which is great. And he does still have amazing stats. I mean, 91 diving, 81, 88 reflexes, 88 positioning, 91 kicking. He still has that phenomenal kicking stats that Ederson has. 88 handling, which is phenomenal. Um, this is still a usable goalkeeper that if you are a Bundesliga um, guy, this is this is still would be a really cheap goalkeeper to substitute with. Um, I said with all the other goalkeepers over 88, hopefully he has saved the fee trade. We'll see. Um, but if he doesn't, that'd be sad, and everyone's just going to revert back to De Gea. Um, but this is awesome. You expected this rating decrease. If he does well this season, gets um, plenty of clean sheets, he'll probably give him a rating boost um, at the uh, when he upgrades. You know, um, number 11 is Robert uh, Lewandowski. I'm not surprised about this rating decrease. I actually had him in my top 10 as a 91. Um, uh, he is six foot, medium high. He has pace, 78, 75, 89. A little bit more of a balanced card you would get. Um, I think a little bit better than Harry Kane personally, um, just because of his dribbling. I'm surprised that uh, he did get a rating decrease because he was the top scorer um, in uh, in the Bo in the Bundesliga. Um, he did have multiple hat tricks. He is showing his um, why he is a top scorer. Um, I'd be surprised if there are any other strikers aside from Ronaldo, Messi um, above him. I'm trying to think who's the top ten now. Um, obviously, yeah, I can name off the top ten right now. But uh, pace, uh, Robert Lewandowski. Just because I think overall Bayern Munich got a downgrade, he's getting a downgrade. He does have that high attacking work rate is what you want. So any of the Bundesliga, really, um, I forget who was saying this, but it's really not the Bundesliga. It's the Bayern Munich League. And so if you're using that, you're definitely going to be using him as a striker. Um, but that's it, guys. Um, that's what I have for you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys liked. Let me know what's your favorite player that you guys are very excited to use so far, whether it's in this video or the past videos. Um, give me a thumbs up if you guys liked it. Um, my social media is down below. So uh, Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Twitch is JimmyG23. I'll be streaming a lot of FIFA 19. I got the early EA access. Um, so catch me on there. The links are down below. Um, but that's it, y'all. You know, JimmyG23 is out. Peace.